Uh, well, I have to thank uh, Malik Jackson for his uh, superior drafting ability. But uh, it's just fun to, to get out here and compete a little bit. You know, playing more of a, a real game situation. You know, not have all the coaches in the huddle bearing down on you. And uh, you know, it's fun to get out there and play with some of the younger guys like Crowder. You know, first time in the stadium, boom, nervous the first few plays. And, uh, but a lot of young guys stepped up, played well, and it was, it was just fun to, to get out there and just happy everyone's healthy. So. Did you look at this as another chance to kind of show what you could do, even if it wasn't maybe going to change the coach's mind a lot? Um, I mean, you know, I, I believe I have ability. You know, I played against a, some pretty good teams in this conference, and um, you know, I have experience, and you know, that's a good thing for the second quarterback to have experience. You know, about when it happens. So uh, I just take it one day at a time. And I'm just happy to be here. Eric said when he came in here after the game today, he was complimentary of your work and said, you know, there's going to be a game next year. We have to have to have to make it good to hear that now. I mean, even though I know you want to be the starter, is it still nice to know that you have to leave it from Derek anyway? Uh, yeah, I mean, of course, it's, it's nice to hear that, especially from someone that's, you know, your superior and uh, you look up to. Uh, you, you know, you want to get better every day as a quarterback and as a player. And, um, you know, I'm just I'm happy here at Tennessee. And, um, I'm glad that he's happy with me as a, as a quarterback or as a starter the backup. So, uh, you know, I'm just happy I have a certain role on this team. And, uh, I'm just going to do my best to help us get better. Is that as a receiver, too? What's that? As a receiver, too? Uh, yeah, I don't think you'll be seeing me running more routes the rest of the year. So, I mean, Willie caught me from behind. So, uh, it's, not, it's not too good. <laughs> Whose call was that on that halfback pass? Uh, that was uh, that was Cheney's call, but a lot of us, you know, we were talking about at halftime that we really wanted to run it in the right zone, and you know, Tony was playing really well, so we wanted to get him a little throw, and uh, you know, good for him that he actually kind of put it on a little bit. So, <laughs> hey, Taran, you know, sense maybe for how much further along the team is exiting this spring camp as maybe opposed to a year ago. So many guys hadn't played, and so many of you haven't been together before. Yeah, definitely. I think we just we made a big leap this whole entire spring by playing fast, playing together. And there's a, there's a sense of urgency for this team because we want to win and we want to win fast. So, I mean, I see it, other coaches see it, but we got to take it into the summer and continue to work. But it's definitely not where we're supposed to be. Well, kind of on that, on that same note, Coach Dooley said if he had to pick maybe one thing that he felt the best about leaving spring, it was the offensive line compared to last year. I mean, you got a pretty good view of that. Do you kind of feel that same way? Yeah, definitely. Uh, they're enthusiastic uh, all spring. They, they talk. This is the first time I heard a lot of those guys talk, especially James Stone. He, uh, he spoke up all the time talking to me. So uh, it, was, it was great. It was great to see it. And I def we definitely need a lot more leaders, and we got to continue to get better as a football team. Sorry, after having a year starting under your belt, how much did that help you in preparations going into the spring and stepping up even more so as a leader for the team? I think it definitely helped me tremendously. Uh, I, I, I'll be, I'm able to read defenses better, able to slow down a little bit and not be so not be so excited. And it's just great because uh, I see everything now as opposed to just running through everything, right, everything right in my mind. So uh, I definitely got a long ways to go. But, uh, I'm going to take coaching and be ready just to prepare for the there was some buzz after after Ray and got that 160 yards in the first scrimmage. How much did that motivate you to to come back and remind people there was a, another guy back up back there, jailback? Well, I'm for Ray on and everything that he does. I was happy he got some good plays today. But uh, I I think we, we, that definitely motivated me. We always compete. Me and him always go at it. And uh, now that I see the type of spring Tony had today. I got another guy to compete with, but uh, it's definitely good for me. It's good for the game. It's good for this offense just to have multiple threats. And I'm just excited about the opportunity to compete with those guys. Man, would you talk about the touchdown you scored? You seem to celebrate pretty good. There was a great touchdown. What was up with that? Uh, well, just a few guys were teasing me a little bit about my celebrations and stuff. So they told me to bring out the one from LSU that I, that I had. So uh, I just tried to make Derek happy and shut him up and do the celebration so he'd just be quiet in the huddle for once. So, because we had we had a tough time out there doing that. You guys don't see that on the sidelines, but uh, out there in the huddle, you know, it's, it's tough getting 21 to be quiet. So, uh, what's that? Oh, you, you know, side conversations. You know, he's he's everywhere. I mean, Coach Dooley's laughing at him, just like, God, Derek, you ever shut up? And he's just like, no. So, you know, that's just how it is. But, um, you know, it's just. Kind of one of those moments where we were just having fun, messing around, and uh, that's what the spring game's all about, just kind of kind of enjoy the moment a little bit. Did you yeah. have to encourage Tony to throw the ball more? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I would annoy him a little bit about it, but we were running the ball so well in the beginning that uh, it, w it was hard to get away from it. Um, you know, we started throwing the ball once they put, you know, 11 guys in the box and started doing that stuff. But, uh, you know, it's, it's just one of those days. You, know, you just want people to get out healthy, and we don't want to show everybody what we've been doing all spring. So, uh, you know, something to see, I guess, the way through the rest of it. How stark a contrast is that though to a year ago, Matt, that you were running so well, you had to sort of talk yourself into making like, some passes, whereas a year ago it seemed like you had to pass to set up the run. Well, I mean, it's it's really just the entire team, the entire organization, just improving as a whole from a year ago, um, you know, from top to bottom. And, you know, like you said, the offensive line, it's just, uh, it's night and day what it was from a year ago. It really is. And uh, their leadership, their attitude, and, uh, you know, Coach Heastan and, and all our other coaches, they, they really got us going on a, the right direction. So it's a good thing to look forward to. How much has the improved offensive line play improved your confidence standing back in the pocket and you're not going to you're not going to take a shot every time the ball snap? Um, you know, it, it's it's a good feeling. You know, in the spring game, you know you're not really going to get hit anyway. So unless Montori just feels like hitting you. But, um, you know, it's it, it was fun to be out there. It's fun that, you know, you got guys out there that have had experience. You know, um, we got a lot of high character guys here now. And uh, Coach Julian and the rest of the staff have done a really good job of getting young guys that, that really have uh, good personalities in, in our organization. Matt, we kind of jump back in here for being out there. Just can, can you kind of sum up the way you feel about the way you played today in, in the game and what took place up there? Uh, didn't turn the ball over, so that's that was big. Um, you know, everyone, uh, everyone's healthy. Um, you know, didn't make huge mistakes. Uh, really played well. Uh, even Doak, our third string, he got in there and played a little bit. So, um, you know, overall, we did a pretty good job as an offense. We moved the ball well, and um, we uh, we stayed behind that right side of the old line there and, and powered all the way down the field sometimes. So it was good to see that. Coaches may be pretty, pretty known that, you know, you need to be ready just in case next season. So was it good to jump in there and sort of control the offense from the get-go in, in a game, even though it was a spring game? Yeah, it, it's always good, you know, in a spring game to just kind of be out there on your own and go through scenarios in your head, uh, you know, by yourself instead of a coach reminding you, hey, it's third and ten. Um, so it, it's good to be out there with your teammates and kind of talk through situations and experience certain things and uh, just move on from there. Jordan, can you kind of uh, benefit a couple of us that are out there when you start to just sum up the way you feel after today's game and the way you feel? I, mean, I think we did okay. Uh, we came out and did and did what we what we could with that front that they had, Malik and all those, and, uh, Steve and all those guys. But we came out and competed, and I'm pretty pretty sure we're going to evaluate the film and talk about it later. But uh, I'm not a coach, so I can only say so much. But we, we did okay. Would it be unfair for, for fans and media to take this one game as a barometer? You take the whole spring collectively as a barometer heading into next fall. I think you should definitely take the whole spring because today we're split up. Uh, the whole spring we're, we're with a group of guys the whole, the whole time. But uh, today was just a, kind of a fun day. We, we, I mean, we got to compete, that's true, uh, to a certain extent. But uh, today was supposed to be a fun day. It's for the fans. And just appreciate the fans coming out and coming out to support us. Anything else for that? Who's called the halfback fans? Coach Cheney did. But we, we had to nag him a little bit for him to call that. So. Did you light up when he called it? Oh, yeah, I was telling everyone in the huddle, just like, all right, here we go. Let's go, you know, just getting everybody excited. And, you know, when I called the play, they all got excited, too. So just, uh, just happened we kind of got somewhat of a game out of it. So it was good. It was fun. You had been wearing a green jersey when you scored? Uh, no, no, I would have got tackled. No, I would have scored. So I don't really have that open field uh, sadness like this guy here. So, you know, he would have attacked me more so. Tour of the running game on, on your side. You didn't run a whole lot today. When you did run on that one drive, it opened up a touchdown. How much was it a lesson today, and how important to you and this running game has to be in this offense? It's very important. And Coach Dooley was saying uh, to Coach uh, Henson, run the football. But we, I guess we had we had Justin Hunter, so we wanted him to make big plays today. We just couldn't get him the ball, like I said, because they're, they're front. But uh, well, we definitely got to run the football. We know it. The whole world knows it. And uh, it's a phenomenal job by the white team in the, in the draft. So it's all good. I was part GM on that one too, so that was a problem. decision. Yes, sir. Thanks, guys.